All are welcome on our channel. We will show you the best spots to visit in Brazil in this video. Carnival is a festivity that permeates every city and every person in Brazil. If you haven't been to this event, you won't believe how much fun and happiness people can have. Anything you want will surely be fulfilled in Brazil. Diverse ecosystems, rare and wild plant and animal species, and otherworldly landscapes are just a few of the attractions. Let's look into Brazil's most popular tourist locations more. 1. Rio de Janeiro. Welcome to the lush mountains, stunning beaches, opulent nightlife, and passionate football supporters. A place like that exists only in Rio. Rio, often called Cidade Maravilhosa or the Marvelous City, is surrounded by lush mountains and boasts a long, uninterrupted shoreline. The beach, according to the Cariocas, is overrun with activity. You'll enjoy sailing to one of the numerous little offshore islands, hang gliding, rock climbing, beach biking, and trekking through the Chijuca jungle. The most well-known musical style in the city is the samba, which has African roots. Lapa is the city with the most recognizable red light district if you want to enjoy the evening. Every evening, there is live music on the streets and festivities. 2. Parachi. Along Brazil's green coast, in the state of Rio de Janeiro, is one of the most visited tourist destinations. Numerous waterfalls, an emerald green sea, enormous coastal mountains, and tropical forests can be found in Parachi. The historic district of the old Portuguese colony remains in the town center. Complete with cobblestone streets and colorfully painted colonial buildings. Because there are no cars anywhere in the historic district, strolling is highly recommended. There is truth to the sensation that time has stood still. In addition to the colonial forts, many of which still have their original cannons, don't forget to visit Capela de Santa Rita. 3. Sao Luis. As a result of the meticulous restoration work carried out on the colonial residences there, the ancient town of So Luz has been named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. You may visit a ton of shops, museums, and galleries. The majority of people in So Luz, which also hosts reggae and bumba mu boy music festivals, are Afro-Brazilian. You might be interested in seeing the Archaeological Museum in Casa das Tulas, a market building built in the 19th century. 4. Salvador. Salvador in the Brazilian state of Bahia is renowned for its incredible vitality. The town's historic center is located in the Pelourinho neighborhood. Its colonial architecture may still be seen in significant amounts, and it is best known for serving as the capital of Portugal's New World region. Large squares, colorful structures and cathedrals with gilt woodwork and other Baroque details may all be found in this area. In this region, there is an incredible arts movement. Alodum drummers, capoeira martial artists, and other odd events may be seen on the streets. This region's distinctively Afro-Brazilian culture is evident in the mouthwatering cuisine, the religious feasts and rites, and the dance. 5. Sao Paulo State. One of Brazil's many wonderful features is Paulo State. There are some of the top goods on offer in the nation. Paulo is the most recent boomtown, and everything there is expanding, including trade, industry, banking, culture, and, of course, tourists. However, you can also spend some time outside the city by traveling to Serra da Mantiqueira. Use this magnificent mountain range's summits as your snug alpine retreat. Ila Bella is an additional option for your luxury island getaway. Another option is Iporanga from the Brazilian Atlantic Forest. Beautiful beaches with jungle backdrops are also available. Sao Paulo City is the center of Sao Paulo State. It is one of the world's biggest cities. With representation from many important ethnic groups, notably the largest Japanese population outside of Japan, it is somewhat of a melting pot. This region has excellent fine dining restaurants and premium pubs in addition to amazing art galleries and cutting-edge theaters. 6. Brasilia. The meticulous planning and complex planning that went into constructing Brazil's capital were visible in the 1960s. The iconic structure in Brasilia is designed to resemble an airplane. Each area of the aircraft has its own distinct business, financial, cultural, and governmental districts. Both tourists and experienced architects are drawn to the area's architecture. 7. Fortaleza. Fortaleza is yet another important Brazilian city. 
The vibrant cultural scene, stunning beaches, and substantially better shopping are among of its most well-known features. Check out Morales, Mukuripe, Irisema, and everyone's favorite, Praia do Futuro, if you're seeking for beaches. Spend your evenings at Praia de Irisema, a neighborhood teeming with places to stay, eat, and have a good time, and your mornings exploring Centro, the city's historical district. 8. Olinda Olinda, a Portuguese colonial town from the 16th century, is situated on a hill surrounded by woods and boasts a large number of churches, museums, and restaurants. In 1982, it received the UNESCO World Heritage Classification. The rest of the town is as attractive, with various structures from the 18th century, monasteries and convents, and exquisitely painted homes. The regional carnival is also a little different. The celebration, which frequently takes place in the daytime, features dance and music that honor traditional African culture. 9. Recife. The Venice of Brazil has nothing not to be admired. Both inside and beyond the city, which is connected by a system of waterways, islands, bridges, and peninsulas, are tropical rainforests. Beautiful old towns, breathtaking beaches, and intriguing cultures can all be found here. Recife Antigo's historic center is situated close to the harbor on a separate island. A big city like Recife has a lot to offer, including a great place to celebrate carnival. 10. Iguazu. Along Argentina's border sits this breathtaking natural beauty. A collection of waterfalls along the Iguazu River make up the Iguazu Waterfalls. It is amazing to be surrounded by a lush forest, fascinating wildlife, and stunning waterfalls. You might think about taking a tour on one of the tourist rubber boats known as Zodiacs as there are so many falls to uncover. 11. Manaus. Manaus, a city on the Negro River, is commonly referred to be the entrance to the Amazon rainforest. One of the biggest towns in the nation and the capital of Amazonas, it is home to magnificent structures like the Rio Negro Palace and the Amazonas Opera House. Visit the meeting of the waters, where the Solimes and Negro rivers flow side by side without entirely merging, if you're seeking for some stunning beauty. Both rivers eventually combine to form the Amazon. Visit a small seashore museum outside of the city and the zoo, where many of the animals are allowed to roam freely. 12. Curitiba. This state's capital, which is fully urban, is a well-known venue for musical performances. The Guara Theater and the Wire Opera are two steel tube structures with glass ceilings where you may see some excellent performances. Urban planners from all around the world consider Curitiba to be one of the best cities ever created. There are numerous parks and trees, a six-block area designated as a pedestrian zone, and creative solutions to the issues of pollution and urban poor. 13. Jijoca de Jericoacoara, one of Sierra, Brazil's breathtaking beaches is an undiscovered gem. A beach that ranks among the world's most beautiful features calm waves, white sand dunes, and magnificent blue lagoons. In 2002, it was designated as a national park and an area for environmental protection since it is the location of a large turtle's nest. All of these elements have helped to keep the area remote and mostly unexplored. There is a municipal law that states that only the moon can light the streets at night. 14. Benito. Benito is a lovely one-street neighborhood. It serves as the hub of the area and as a prototype for ecotourism in Brazil. Discover the vast, stalactite-covered Abismo Anhumas Cavern, which provides options for swimming, diving, and abseiling. Or perhaps you should try snorkeling in the glittering waters of the Rio da Prada? If you enjoy viewing birds, you won't want to miss the macaws nests, which are tucked away in the Baraco das Arreras. Finish your journey by visiting the Serra da Boducana National Park. We hope that this video is useful for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.